What is up you guys? It's me Nubia here and on today's video I will be doing the long awaited wash day routine for my locks. I'm finally going to tell you guys my routine because I finally have stuck to a routine, the same routine for more than two years. Now the only difference about today is that I will be doing like a mask so I'll also take you along that route but yeah let's just get right into it. Y'all ready? get ready all right i'm a little nervous to do this voiceover but let's get started so today i will be washing my hair with 313 by news my shampoo i've been using this shampoo for so long y'all and i love it so much i like it because it's lightweight but it gets the job done it includes rosemary which encourages hair regrowth and hair thickness and also reduces breakage which was a big issue when i bleached my hair it also includes bergamot, which smooths the hair cuticles and protects the hair from oxidative stress and reduces buildup as well, which is great. I like shampoos that really get rid of the day-to-day -day buildup and I love that it has bergamot for that reason. It also includes vetiver, which is great for collagen formation, which is very vital to hair thickness and just hair health in general. And then it includes peppermint. And I can tell because when I use it, I get the tingly sensation on my scalp. And I think with peppermint, it increases the scalp's blood flow, which makes all these ingredients much more effective, resulting in thicker, stronger, and longer hair. I wash my hair every single week, y'all. Every single week, yes. Sometimes I might go a week and a half, but I'm so active and along with how much I moisturize, I just like to do it every single week. And as you can see, I start off with washing the back of my hair, the front of my hair, and then I take the applicator on the bottle, which I love that it has the applicator because it makes sure that I can get exactly where I need to get all my shampoo and then I rub it all in and scrub a dub a dub a. I used to see a lot that a lot of people used to say the shampoo will make its way down to the ends, but I still like to try to get some shampoo into my ends always because it really gets rid of the buildup so i'm like buildup is not just on the scalp buildup be everywhere y'all so i try to focus it on my ends my scalp my middles everywhere every square okay and then i go in for a second shampoo now this one i just like shampooing twice it just depends on how active you are, but I just always recommend shampooing twice. Massaging your scalp, period, is good, and I feel like that whole process of shampooing, I massage my scalp, I really try to massage my edges, which you'll see soon in the clips, but it suds up even more, which means that the hair is essentially getting cleaner the more suds you see. So I'll focus on my scalp, really, and then really get to focus on my ends during this last wash. And this is pretty much common sense, but you'd have no idea. As long as I've done hair in the past, I've noticed that you really have to pay attention to your hair when you're washing it. Like really scrub it, pay attention to your scalp, pay attention to your ends, because the more effort you put into your hair, the better that your results of your growth and everything's going to be. It's enough to have the great ingredients, but if you're not doing what it takes to reach greatness when it comes to your hair, then you're not gonna see the results that you wanna see. And, and I feel like that's common sense, but even I notice a drastic difference in just the consistency in this wash routine and everything like that and how much healthier my hair is. So it's strengthening treatment time and I promised myself for a year after my bleaching disaster that I would take care of my hair and apply henna to it monthly as well as a strengthening treatment to it monthly. Just because when it comes to very, very damaged bleached hair, especially very damaged bleached locks, it takes 
whoo, 200% effort just to make sure that you can bring your hair back. So I recorded this video a little bit ago, so I'm kind of done on the strengthening treatments, but it was, the damage was so bad, y'all. If it wasn't for 313, this strengthening treatment and the henna, I don't even know where I'd be, y'all. So I just try to keep this consistent, but products like this do cause buildup in your locks. So I would definitely recommend that this be the last resort. Like y'all, I was really trying to save my hair. Just shampooing with the same shampoo, moisturizing with the same moisturizer, and then this treatment once a month, night and day. I will do an in-depth video about just with pictures of how I actually brought myself out of the bleach. So So now we're getting into the wash portion and I thoroughly get this out of my hair, y'all. Thoroughly, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but thoroughly get this out of my hair. Like squeeze the locks, all that. Really try to get this out of my hair, gang. And then using my rosemary water, this is the last thing that I do and I actually don't wash it out. I just shake the bottle, put it right in my hair and just let it sit, honestly. Uh, throughout the shower, I just put this especially on my edges. Every single time after I apply it, I massage it into my scalp. And if you guys don't know, the fact that like, even if you put it on your scalp and it runs down on your back, rosemary is also good for getting rid of acne. So if you have back knee, this is good too. No worries. And then tie the hair up. Cute as a buttercup. Now it's time for my, I think this is my favorite part. I'm not gonna lie, the moisturization process. So of course, I always section my hair off, especially on wash days. Other regular days, I may just do what it do, but on wash days, I try to be very specific about the things that I do. So first, I start off with my 313 Hydration On The Go Leave-In Mist. This adds that tingle too. I love it because it has white rose water, which reduces oiliness, is great for dandruff, smooths frizz, and adds shine. It also has vegetable glycerin, which is great for preventing split ends, which is big for bleached hair and conditions the hair. And then it also has tea tree oil, which prevents the buildup in the day-to-day -day dead skin that you may accumulate, and then also balances the oil production on your scalp. And then of course, top it all off with some peppermint. I love me some peppermint oil because I feel like the fact that it stimulates the scalp, like I said, it brings all the ingredients together and makes them work that much more. So I love using this. I use this every single day, y'all. Like it's literally hydration on the go. Like if I'm in a rush, spritz, 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 out the way. Every time I do this moisturization routine, afterwards, I always get compliments on the smell of my hair. But I love topping everything off with this oil because I feel like it's the key to my hair growth and thickness. It has fenugreek, which revives damaged hair. It has cedar wood, which is great for hair loss, hair fall, hair thinning. It has sage, which strengthens the hair follicles. And then I love that it has chamomile because chamomile boosts collagen production and it adds shine. And, and then I love that it has grapeseed oil because it guards against UV damage and fights frizz. One thing about me sometimes, I don't like putting mousse in my hair all the time, so I'll spray my mist, add some oil, smooth down my hair, put a, a scarf on, let it sit for 20 minutes, and real cute, all right? Now, I like to moisturize my hair, I'd say probably about three times a week. 
outside of wash day. I like to do it maybe every other day more than likely, or if my hair is in a curly style, I'll do it maybe twice a week. But find a routine that works for you. That is the key. Find a routine and find good products. That's why I love 313 because for two years I've been using this and it brought me back from bleach. It keeps me away from buildup and it's just great natural products that I can trust. And don't laugh at me, I don't know why I decided to take a blow dryer and blow cool air on my wet hair like it was just gonna magically get dry in a little bit. Y'all, more than likely, I'm about to show y'all at the end of this video what I actually do uh, to dry my hair, but I just wanted to show y'all this because what was I even thinking? That's a wrap, y'all. We have got to the end of my lock wash day routine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Here is just a little microwave of my hair. quick look into what I do for my wash day. Um, my hair is currently still a little damp. So as far as drying it goes, I only dry with cool air as you guys seen. I really don't like walking around with wet hair y'all, even if it's just a little damp. So I try my best to either sit underneath this dryer right here for like 30 minutes with cool air depending on what I have to do that day. But I just try to make sure that it's dry. So I definitely recommend if your hair takes a long time to dry or your hair is longer than the cutoff of your shoulders, definitely try your best to get under a dryer, do something. You know, I used to be more air dry, but air dry takes a long time and then the oils get all over your clothes. And that's why I wear a sports bra. But all wash day questions should be answered within this video if not comment down below and i will definitely be answering in the comments i won't make another lock q a until maybe like next year that's it okay all products will be linked down in the description so you don't have to miss out and you don't have to go asking i'm not gonna gatekeep and make sure you shop 313 buy new duh 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 because that is the key to my wash day routine okay the shampoo is really where it starts okay so boom that's it i will catch you guys on the next video all right bye and again i'm gonna say make sure you shop 313 by new because that is really what is responsible for why my hair is growing so thick so long and so beautiful see y'all later